My name is Bettina and I'm from Brazil. I lived in Florence, Italy for 17 years and in Italy I met Carlo. We got married in 2004. I was just 22 years old. In 2006, Clara, our daughter, was born. She was sweet and smart and we, but we start seeing that her right hand was always closed and she was not moving at night. It was hard to know that she was delayed and one day in Ikea I saw another baby girl of her age doing everything so I start crying because I realized that something was really wrong with Clara. Clara was a sweet and intelligent babe so doctors first said that she had a small scar on her brain but when the MRI arrived they said that she had a stroke and part of her left side of the brain was missing. They said she could not organize the information in her brain and that she would be like a vegetable. She would not be able to walk in, to walk, to speak, to understand, to imitate. I started crying so hard and they said, you are, you are right to cry because your life will be a nightmare. I went home to see like, is this my baby? Is this Clara they are talking about? And she was there so sweet and smiling at me. We decided to accept the situation and do our best. Today, Clara is 17. She can speak, write or read, but she understands Portuguese, English and Italian. We never put her disability first in our lives, what helped a lot. When she was small, everything was magic because she was so cute, kids would play with her and life without words were easy. But the more she grew, more life got difficult. I always hoped that every birthday party she would start speaking, but never happened. happened. Then we went to elementary school and we thought that she would be able to write and read and it didn't happen. So we were so worried about her future and work opportunities. We understood that generally after school people with disabilities, they go to an institute and they don't have a life for their own and we got scared. I always worked with marketing so I said Clara can be a good digital influencer and I saw a lot of potential because she was really smile, always happy. When she was 10 I started doing her social media channels and in that time Clara had painting lessons just for fun. One day I went for some meetings in Milan in Italy and in my way back I bought her a book for children about Frida Kahlo and when I arrived home I gave the, this book to her and she was in love. She's walking around the house with the book, kissing, sleeping with the book and one day we were sitting on the couch, it was evening and she showed me the page where Frida Kahlo was doing her exhibition in New York and Clara asked me, Mom? I want to make my exhibition in New York as Frida did. And I answered, yes, let's try. It will be hard, we will have sacrifices, but we can do it. This yes changed our lives forever. I could have said, Clara, you have a disability, it will never happen. Or Clara, it's so complex, why are you asking me? We can't do it. But instead I said, yes, let's do it. And I think she gave me a challenge. The next day we went in a bar in Florence that does art exhibitions and Clara asked them to have her show there. They first asked to see her artworks and they like it. So it was November 2017. In March 2018, Clara had her first exhibition and it was sold out. She was in the cover of the most important newspaper in Italy and we never stopped. In the same year, we went to Miami, to Art Basel, to Japan. We opened a business for her and from there we, she had a lot of exhibitions. She sold more than 700 paintings. She got the American visa as extraordinary talent. So we went from Florence to Huntington Beach in California to support her art and create a business. As a family, we believed in Clara. We embraced the challenge and changed all our lives to create a brand and a future in, together with her. In March 2019, after crying all night, I decided to sell my business in its best year to follow my heart, to follow my dreams and invest in Clara's business and future. It was huge. I had stomach pain for almost two months because we are leaving all our safety to take a step into the unknown. 
and here we are today. Everyone is working on Clara's branding and projects for the future.